Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to go through another application of pointers, which is using them to access an array. Okay. So I've got an empty main here in a file called pointer arithmetic main.cpp. And in this file, I've got a definition of a pointer, which I think is really helpful. A uh, pointer is a variable that stores as its contents the memory address of another variable. Okay. So let's take some notes here and then we're going to code up an example that uses a pointer to access an array. Okay. The key is we're going to use pointer notation and pointer arithmetic to do this. We're not going to use array notation. Array notation would be the hard brackets like this. We're going to write code to work with an array that's not going to use the hard brackets. It's going to use pointer notation. All right. So an array stores the memory address of the first element of the array. Okay. Perhaps you remember uh, when you're first learning arrays, let's say I have an array of integers called nums and it just stores some random values here. I'll just make some up. All right. These four values. And you would do something like this. See out nums. Okay. And you're like, oh, I'm going to see the five, the two, the eight, the six and C plus plus and C is like, ha, no, you're not. That would be too easy. Instead, you're going to see this random looking garbage, right? All right. Well, this isn't random looking garbage. Okay. This is the memory address of five, right? The first element of the array is five. This is the memory address of where that five is located. Okay. So you probably wrote something called a print array function, right? Where you passed in your array and the number of elements in the array, and you used a loop of some sort to walk through and access each element in the array and print it out with C out or printf or something, right? That's how we look into and see the contents of the array because just printing out the name of the array gives us this memory address. Okay. If we look at the definition for a pointer, okay. A variable that stores as its contents, the memory address of another variable. Okay. So nums is actually a pointer because it stores the memory address of five. Okay. It stores a memory address of five. All right. So let's write this little print array function. We'll use array notation and then we're going to come back and throw the array notation away and write it using pointer notation and pointer arithmetic. All right. So I'm going to call this print array function that I'm going to write here shortly. Okay. It's return type is void and it's going to accept an array of integers. I'll call it ARR and a size. So this simple function is just going to walk through using a for loop, each index in ARR and use it to index into the array and print out the element at that index. Okay. So I'll just make a little note here that right now I'm accessing memory using array notation, right? There's those hard brackets that you're used to. All right. I just need a prototype for this up here so that I can compile this. All right, there's the five, two, eight, six. Okay. So I haven't really done anything with the knowledge that an array is really a pointer. Okay. I'm treating it just like an array. Now we're going to go back and we're going to change this function and its prototype so that there's no hard brackets used. Okay. We're really going to treat ARR like the pointer that it is. Okay. So I'm going to take off the hard brackets. And instead say that ARR is a pointer to an int. Okay. The type of ARR is int pointer. Okay. ARR stores the memory address of five, right? ARR stores the memory address of five. It's a pointer to five, just like nums is a pointer to five. All right. I'm going to comment this line out just so that it stays in the code. And I'm going to rewrite it. And this time I'm going to use the in uh, the unary indirection operator to dereference ARR using an offset. Okay. 
So this is the start of my pointer notation. Okay, and what I'm going to dereference is going to be ARR plus I. So this right here is pointer arithmetic. We can add and subtract offsets from memory addresses. Okay. Now let's run this and then I'll explain it. Okay, the output is exactly the same, right? Because ARR is a pointer, just like nums is a pointer. Okay, so under the hood, arrays are really just pointers. Okay, that's the beauty of them. Instead of having to store a variable for five, two, eight, six, etc., I can just store one variable and its contents is the memory address of the first element in the array. And then I can use an offset in order to look up any of the other values in the array I want, right? That's what's so nice about arrays. One variable for say 10,000 elements instead of 10,000 uh, variables, one for each element. All right, so what's going on here with this ARR plus I? So let's think about the values of I, right? So we know that size is four, so I is going to be zero, one, two, three, it will be four, but on the fourth uh, assignment of I, or excuse me, I say the fifth assignment of I, uh, this is gonna evaluate to false and break out of the loop. Okay, so let's just deal with zero, one, two, three, which is when the body of this for loop will execute. All right, so ARR plus zero, okay? So if the memory address of ARR is this uh, BC20, and I add zero to it, then I have BC20. If I dereference BC20, okay, I get five. And that's where this five comes out right here. All right, next iteration, I is now one. I add one to ARR. No, I don't add one to ARR. What I do is I add one memory cell to ARR, okay? I'm not adding one byte to this memory address to get BC21, I'm adding one memory cell's size to ARR. So we have an array of integers. Integers are four bytes, right? They take up four bytes. So here I've got four integers, each four bytes in size. So I've got 16, I'll write this on the next line actually. Uh, 16 contiguously, okay, that means they're, they're touching, they're butted up right next to each other, contiguously allocated in uh, bytes. I'll say to store four ints, okay? So the memory address of two is gonna be four bytes greater than the memory address of five. The memory address of eight is gonna be four bytes greater than the memory address of two, which is gonna be eight bytes greater than the memory address of five, okay? So what's happening here is the offset added to ARR is the size of the memory cell times the offset to get the total bytes, okay? So let me try to explain this one more time. In fact, I think it might help. Let's do this. Let's see out the address of nums sub zero. Then let's print out the memory address of the remaining three elements. Oops. My copy didn't go through very well. All right, so here's the memory address of our four elements, okay? They're contiguously allocated as 16 bytes, and we can actually see this. This is really nice, this worked out this way. All right, so here we have 3280, that's the memory address of five, and then four bytes down the road from it, right next to it, at 3284 is the memory address of two, and then 3288 is the memory address of eight, and then 328C is the memory address of six. So you can see that the memory addresses go up by four bytes, okay? 
So what we add here as the offset, okay, I is not the number of bytes. What we add is the number of element offsets, okay, the number of memory cells. Okay, this is a memory cell, this is a memory cell, this is a memory cell, this is a memory cell. Each memory cell in this example is four bytes because we're working with ints, okay? So ARR plus two, for example, is going to add two times four bytes, eight bytes to ARR. So 3280 plus eight bytes is 3288. And we go to that memory address and we grab its contents and that's what we print out. And that's why we get the eight. All right, so just to recap, arrays are pointers, okay? Arrays store the memory address of the first element in the array. If we have a pointer to an array, like we have here, okay, that's just contiguously allocated memory cells, okay? Each memory cell is the size of what type is being stored there, okay? So if we have a pointer to an array like we have here, we can use the array notation, okay? Or we can use the pointer notation. Either one works because the compiler behind the scenes when we use the array notation or the pointer notation is really saying, okay, what type does this pointer point to? Okay, it points to ints, ints are four bytes. So if they want an offset of say one, I've got to multiply one by four bytes is part of this pointer arithmetic or our uh, array subscripting to figure out the memory address to go grab the element of. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that explains a little bit more about why arrays are passed by reference, okay? Because we're really just passing a pointer to the array. Thanks for watching.